So a bride and groom in Florida were caught crashing their own wedding? What? So the couple invited guests to a $5.7 million mansion near Fort Lauderdale and passed the lavish property off as their own. The problem is they don't own it and don't even have permission to use it. It's currently on the market, so the groom had posed as a potential buyer at one point. He even asked the owner if he could use the house for the wedding, but the owner said no. So as you can guess, the owner was shocked to find the unwelcome guests at at his house for the big day. Here's what he said during a 911 call to the police. They keep harassing me, calling me, and uh, they say they're having a wedding here, and it's God's uh, message, and I don't know what's going on. All I want is to stop. The couple and guests were asked to leave, and no charges were filed. They were super lucky that nothing bad happened, not to take a bummer town, but that's Florida, and you have stand your ground laws, and you have castle laws, and that could have gone wrong. I am so sorry I brought this to bummer town. I just <laughs> was stuck on castle laws. I didn't know, why yeah. can't you call it a house law? They oh, call it's it called the castle, castle law because it comes from England, actually. And what is the law? You can protect your own castle while in your house. You can do whatever you want to protect the castle. Yeah, I mean, the guy handled it super that, well, and it, I don't want to, it, it seems like there's some mental health issues yeah. here going on right okay and we're, we're seeing that a lot with a lot of stories we cover and this could have gone left yeah. really quickly yeah. so i'm glad that they just kind of let this go i, I mean he I handled this well he handled it better he than did. i would he did and lindsay i also think this is a you know it really is a sign of the times when you look at social media and you look at the pressure that people feel to have like the most lavish that's wedding, a good point it's ridiculous i feel bad for a lot of people feeling like that they have to somehow keep up with the joneses Right, I said, I thought that Tori was gonna touch base with our inner chief skate and say, oh my God, what a great plan. It just went wrong because I was like, this is a good idea because Colin and I talk about marriage all the time. And one thing is like, we're definitely not gonna go in debt to throw this wedding party that we wanna have. So it's gonna be something where we can find uh, equal uh, ground where we're like, okay, we can still pay all of our bills and we're not putting this all on credit. And that's a big deal. So I don't really know uh, what these people were thinking. I don't know if they thought those people were not home every Saturday and Sunday or what they thought. I don't know if it's mental health either. I just think they were going the cheapskate route and <laughs> failed miserably. I wonder if anybody's ever gotten away with it. I'm sure they have. And we just didn't know it. I'm sure I think a lot have. of people have people summer had homes. Yeah, Hamptons houses. But that didn't seem like a summer home. That seemed like a place where people were actively living. And I, I don't know, Sam, the fact that you were blaming this on Instagram and not the fact that these people were out of their minds trying to crash a house. She brings that up a good point. There. Expectations. What is good the good point? She brings bring up, up a good point. Very good point. She What's does very good. good. Instagram a lot of people feel is like blame? A, I'm not blaming. I mean, just Instagram. I can have two thoughts in my head at once, okay. Mr. Albert Jackson. Talk to yes, me. she can. However, I do think that there is this pressure to, and you know it, everybody wants to have the perfect photo of their wedding day. They want to make it look like totally. that they have wealth and that they spent whatever, Al. You're not even. Yeah, I can't. so just kick I'm the done. door in. I'm not even going to <laughs> argue with you.